Every word in the Arabic sentence depends on the nouns they are referring to, like pronouns, verbs, demonstratives, and adjectives. Today in Learn Arabic with Manar, we will talk about gender in Arabic and how it works. Yalla, let's start! Today we will talk in detail about nouns and adjectives. And we will mention briefly the other categories like pronouns, verbs, and demonstratives. In the future, we will cover each category with detail. Wait for it! Pronouns and verbs, they take gender in the second and third person, singular only. In the MSA, there is more forms, but in the Levantine dialect, we don't use them. Demonstratives like this and that always take gender in the singular form. And adjectives, they take gender in the singular form in the first, second and third person. Every noun in Arabic is either masculine or feminine. Even things they don't have obvious gender like a tree, a street, a rock, a house, they are either masculine or feminine. And we don't have neutral in Arabic. Let's start with feminine. How can we tell when a noun is feminine? Some nouns are feminine by their nature, like im, mother, bint, daughter or a girl, arus, a bride, ikhit, a sister. Let's see them inside examples so we understand them more. For example, هي بنت حلوه She is a nice girl. هي is the pronoun she and we are using the feminine because our noun is feminine. Halwe it is an adjective, sweet or nice and we are using the feminine because our noun بنت girl is feminine. Let's see another example with verb. وصلت العروس العروس the bride. وصلت it is arrived. We are using the feminine form of the verb by adding the suffix stay to the past tense because our noun is feminine. If our noun is masculine, like العريس, the groom, we have to use the masculine form of the verb وصل. وصلت العروس, وصل العريس. Many things in the natural world are feminine, like الأرض, the earth. السماء, the sky, الشمس, the sun, المطار, the rain, الريح, the wind, النار, the fire, الصحراء, the desert. They are all feminine, so they take feminine adjectives and verbs. Let's see some examples. الأرض واسعة. The earth is wide. We are using a feminine adjective. Wide here, wasa, because الأرض it is treated as feminine in Arabic even if there's nothing to show that it is feminine. السماء صافية, the sky is clear. الصافية, it is clear. Also here, it is a feminine adjective. طلعت الشمس, the sun rise. Also here, we are using the feminine past tense. طلعت by adding the suffix stay to it because sun is treated as feminine. In all our examples, even if there is nothing to show that this is a feminine, but they are treated as feminine in the Arabic language. All country names are feminine, except seven Arabic countries. They are uh, named after masculine adjectives or people. That's why they are treated as masculine. And they are العراق, Iraq, Lebanon, Lebanon, Maghreb, Morocco, Sudan, Sudan, Somal, Somalia, Urdun, Jordan, Yemen, Yemen. Parts of the body that come in birds are feminine, like I, Ain, Eden, Ear, Eid, Hand, Rijal. Leg, they are all treated as feminine, even if there's nothing to show that they are feminine. Let's see two examples with the body part to understand the difference between them, one masculine and one feminine. Ido, tawile, his hand is long. 
we use this expression to refer to people they are used to steal other people's stuff. So we say his hand is long, his hand ido, tawile it is an adjective and we are using the feminine adjective because the word is treated as feminine. Raso kbir, his head is big. We use this expression to refer to people that they are stubborn. Raso, his head, kbir, we are using big, we are using the masculine adjective because ras is treated as masculine. Raso kbir, ido tawile. These are the categories are considered feminine even if there's nothing in them to show that they are feminine. They are not a lot, you have to memorize them. But the big category, it is the words that they are ending with ta marbuta. Ta marbuta, it is the feminine sign. It is part of the noun to show that this noun is feminine and it is added to adjectives and professions to form the feminine form. It is written like circle with two dots on top. The name is ta marbuta, but always the sound it is like a or e. It depends on the ending of the word. We will see them in example. Let's see some examples about noun like sa watch, غرفة, a room, شمسية, an umbrella, شجرة, a tree. All these are considered feminine because they end with ta marbuta. Notice here, ta marbuta, it is part of the noun. We can't take it out. But we will see now in, in adjectives and professions, we could put the ta marbuta to form the feminine form. Like in adjectives, tawil is tall for a man. This is the masculine. If we want to form the feminine, we will just add ta marbuta and it will be tawile. Tawil, masculine. Tawile, feminine. Ba'id, far. This is the masculine. To form the feminine, we just add ta marbuta to the end and it will be ba'ide. Ba'id, ba'ide. Asir is short. The feminine is asira. We are adding the sound e. Ta marbuta to the end. Always it sounds like a eh or a uh, depends on the end of the word. Il ghirfe kbire. Il ghirfe kbire. The room is big. We are using the feminine adjective because our noun is feminine. Let's see the professions and how to form the feminine from the profession. For example, doctor, doctor. This is the masculine. By adding ta marbuta h to the end, we form the feminine. Doktora, doktor, doktora. Muhandis, an engineer. The feminine, muhandise, eh. Muhandis, muhandise. Maallem, a teacher. Maalme is a teacher, female. Tabbah, a cook. The female is Tabakha. We are always adding ta marbuta he to the end to form adjectives and professions. So if we have a feminine name, we will add the feminine form of the profession and it will be Sara Doctora. But if we have the masculine, we will add the masculine form of the profession like Fares Rassam. Sara Doctora, Fares, Rassam. How to tell when a word is masculine? Well, if it's not feminine, so it is masculine because there's no sign or no rule or categories for masculine in Arabic. Every word doesn't belong to the feminine categories. It's considered masculine. That's easy. So this gives you an idea how gender works in Arabic. In the future, we will have more lessons to cover more details about verbs, pronouns and demonstratives in Arabic. If you liked today's video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friend. If you have any question, leave me a comment and I will answer you. See you next time. Yalla bye!